not want. So none of the none of the none of the the trainers or the instructors was like, all right, we you know we got a man down. We got to make sure they all right. Nope. They they nope. didn't. They didn't and do the none funny of that. thing. No, and the funny thing is, I walked into the office. This is when they was over off of um, Industrial Road instead of where it's at now. But um, it's not far from my home, actually, where I currently live. And I went in there, talked to the whatever person at the desk, and she's like, yeah, that's almost a breach of policy. We're going to let you go. It's taking a heel. Wait. She literally told wait, that to wait, my wait, face. Wait, 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 wait. So you went in there to let them know that, you know, you you know, you kind of hurt yourself. And the only yep. thing, and the only thing they could say was, "Oh, okay. Well, we're gonna go ahead and let you go." Don't don't you think that's uh, that was kind of funny? I mean, th- I mean, didn't you feel yeah. some kind of way? Like, oh, I did. You, they didn't even but the send thing you is, to they the didn't hospital, try- or they didn't try to. No, you know, see, you no. know, if you and was I all actually, right. no, and then I ch- thank God I wasn't charged for the school at that time, like how they are now with all these schools. Which brings me to my point about Swift. So well, Swift wait, has said wait, that wait, 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 before we get to Swift. <laughs> um, so after, so after, Come on, let's pass on Swift. so after you, after your accident and they forced you to go home, mm-hmm. um, you say they didn't charge you for, for the time, but the reason why, no. but the reason why you, you left CR England was because of the accident, which they didn't. Yep. They didn't give you any compensation yeah, or anything. No, they didn't want that liability whatsoever. No. Wow. All right. So you. But then I went from there and just stayed home, and then my grandfather died near my birthday. So then I was like, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna enlist. That's what I did. Dropped everything. Lost weight. Went into the military. <laughs> All right, so you was at so you were you you was at CR England. Uh, mm-hmm. you was at CR England, and then you decided to go to the to the service. Yep, I did almost four years. Okay, so after you came out of the service, then I went you, straight to police. That's basically what what happened. Okay. I didn't really transition so, very well. <laughs> okay, so let me so let me see if I can follow the timeline. So. You 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 was interested in 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 truck driving way before you got into the got into yes. the service. So it yes. was it was CR England. Yep. It was CR England that didn't mm-hmm. work out. Unfortunately, you had a family death. Then you went to the yep. serv- you went to the service. You did your four and out, and then mm-hmm. you you went to the Indiana State Troop uh, State Trooper. Yep. You was a correction. You yep. was the corrections. Okay. And then mm-hmm. from and then from there, which I'm I'm assuming recently you went to Swift. Yep, Swift. Yep. I started Swift uh officially it was October. October of last year. All right. So October of last in year. In twenty twenty. Uh, October of last yep. year, you, you went in the Swift Academy, you you came out with your we we're gonna fast track it. So you came out with your <laughs> like, you came out with your license, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So now you're obligated to Swift for at least a year or so. But what? But what happened in the course in in the in from the time you got your license up until the time Swift let yep. you go? let you go and what did they leave, let you go for so swift makes you go out on the road for i think it's 150 to 180 hours for training with a trainer right i had uh owner op somebody i knew like i said i knew a lot of people with swift and she trained me she was a transgender no offense to that but like she trained me. I was on a Walmart dedicated training, so I so, got I got some decent backs in there. So you say, stuff, you know. So you say trans. So you say transgender, transgender male, transgender female. Mm-hmm. Transgendering to female. Okay, so he 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 was a guy at first, and then he's transgendering mm-hmm. into a female. Mm-hmm. Did he did Correct. he kind of 
Well, I I know uh, from talking to you know uh, transgenders, uh, a lot of them, you know, don't speak on their uh, their gender. But considering that you was mm-hmm. a, considering that you was a student and a female, and y'all gonna be in a y'all gonna be in a, you know in close proximity, did 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 she kind of let you know? Uh, of yeah, that? she didn't. I had no problems with. Oh, okay. I had no problems with that. Like I said, um, a lot of people that I know now that I didn't know about in the past, especially with working with, were either female or transgender, and I didn't even know that. Okay. <laughs> so I, I really didn't have a problem as long as it didn't impede on my beliefs and my religion and stuff. Uh, okay. I didn't care what they did. So what was uh what was the so, exper- um, what was the experience like? You know, y'all two being in there, did, was it was it cool? Was it a good experience? Bad experience? Yeah, we were pretty chill. Um, I had two mentors, so they pulled me off of hers because mm-hmm. I guess another mentor heard me talking to one of my classmates over the phone, mm-hmm. and that's why they pulled me with her. And then they put me on a truck in Idaho with um, another mentor, and I'm going to call her Miss J. Okay, and she. Was super trucker so this is where it gets a little interesting and this is an important fact because it can be used later down the road for what i'm going to explain why i got fired Mm -hmm. i was in training and she was technically driving and explaining how to do the 45 correctly and set yourself up like the little wiggle part right as i call it um she had jackknifed the truck Okay, so she not so your, so your your trainer is your 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 trainer is is driving. She's getting ready to back up, mm-hmm. and she's you know going over the points to you on how to. And uh, I already knew, I already knew. Hey, that's too far. You're gonna really mess your truck up. You can feel you know in the kingpin. You know when you bend a certain way, you can feel that where it bounces back enough before it. it yeah, you gone too far. Okay. Like there's no point of no return. Okay. And that's what I felt in the floorboards. And I was very familiar with it because I did a truck school. Okay. Like I learned that in trucking in truck school with Swift Academy. Okay. It's so, not a good feeling. Okay. So she jackknifed the truck. What happened from there? So she called claims because it was in a distribution center in Drupal Valley, California. It was a Walmart DC. I think it's 6092. If I remember correctly, I have it still on my Swift app and it was based out of Drupal Valley, Cali. And they, she called claims. Apparently she's like, yeah, you were driving, you know, it's me wait, against her work. Wait, 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 I'm, I, I think we skipped a page. Yep. So wait, she pinned she, it on me. Well, wait, wait, before she even pinned it on you and called claims, we we still in jackknife. So what actually happened? Was she mm-hmm. did she hit something or what? No, she didn't hit anything. She just popped the fairings off on the driver's side on the and little fin thing before the trailer header board. Okay, so um, there's these brackets that hold that aerodynamic fin all the way up. Okay, so let me see if I get this straight. She was. Backing into a dock, and she jacked. Uh, technically, she was turning around for a dock. Oh, okay. So she was. But turn- she was showing me how to set up and turn around. Mm-hmm. Okay, so so she was turning around for a dock, and she turned around mm-hmm. so much. She turned around so much that she jackknifed. Yep. Basically, did a U turn in a tight little area. I'm surprised she didn't hook another trailer. I thought she did at one point, but she didn't. So the only thing she really messed up was the side of her trailer. Okay. Or not trailer, tractor. Okay, so... And they're still she, putting that on me. <laughs> okay, so she, so she's so she's in the driver's seat. She's doing the driving. Mm-hmm. She jackknifed the truck. She, yep. jack, she jackknifed the truck to the point of messing up the fairings, which y- you, you normally... You normally would do when you jackknife a truck wheel real time. Yep. All right. Correct. So, so after you guys got, you know, after she turned around, you guys got out, y'all noticed that the fairings was messed up. So 
she called claims. Claims. Okay, yep. Which so is she, a special division in Swift down okay. in HQ. Okay, so she called claims and said what? Said that you was the She's one. She's like, was, I was driving. Uh huh. Why you? Oh, it gets even better because they know why, so, I wasn't driving. So wait. So while you're sitting in the passenger seat or around her, she's actually talking uh-huh. to them, saying that you doing the yeah, driving. She, oh, it gets even better. She jumps out at one point after she starts initiating the claims and blaming on me. She gets down using her three points of contact and has to go off behind the fifth wheel, like by the fifth wheel. So. So she's she's dogging you out in front of you, but yet get outside yep. get get outside to to finish. How did you find? Well, you already knew that she was dogging you out because she was doing it in front of you. Mm-hmm. But how did you? How and so, why? Uh, how and why did you get fired? Is Swift knew that you wasn't driving, being that uh, being that they could see the 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 Qualcomm. Yep. The Zonar tablet is what we use. And I actually took pictures, too, to cover my butt. And I've actually looked into it. According to FMSTA, it can still be on your Jack report. Even though you're not involved, you're still there. Okay. But it's how Swift labels it also. Okay. Um, so wait, I looked wait, out in wait, my little green little book. Wait, 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 wait. Swift? What was the reason why Swift let you go? So from that accident, it was like almost what three months because it, that was in November, December, and I actually upgraded middle of December, not even middle of December. I flew okay. home on the twenty third. Okay. Um. So, and that was my birthday. I remember that extensively. So basically, I was with Swift on my own from the last because I only went back on the thirtieth. I think it was like the 27th or something. I did runs. And then I switched from NER, which is Northeast Regional, to Craft Dedicated uh, Reefer Division on the West Coast. Okay, so and why did they let you go? From what I heard, they fired me for touching my phone. Now, this is where it gets interesting. And then they said the accident, too, which I don't believe one or the other. It's got to be one or the other, not both. Um. This is where it kind of gets into the discussion that I talked to you briefly on the side with Cheeky and all of them getting fired for touching their phones for TikTok. I looked into the policies um, of Swift a little more. As long as you're hands-free, they even say hands-free. You know, and I get it's a job. You know, I get that you're not supposed to be doing TikToks, you know. But you're sitting there for 11 hours driving hard really not really doing what you're supposed to do because your DL is saying one thing versus another. They want you to do the X and X and S. But you are your own boss as a truck driver. Don't listen to your DL because I learned the hard way. She pushed me to the max. I did about 15 to 2,000 a week with her. Um, I was driving ragged through California. I hated it. I know no one does 55 through California, but... <laughs> She made me to where my clock didn't give a shit. Okay, so wait, wait. So your so your DM, I, I, I'm gonna mm-hmm. assume was was giving you the what didn't have you didn't have a problem with your DM because you was getting the miles. No, you was getting the miles and mm-hmm. they was and and you was running. But with all that, yeah, and I loved my customers too. But with all that said, they. They let mm-hmm. you, you say they let you go because you was on the phone, touching your phone. How did they, how did they know that you was on your phone? So from what they explained, they're like, oh yeah, your TikToks, you know, suggest that you were doing it while driving. I'm like, oh. I could have edited those videos, you know, or my phone mount could have flipped and I touched it. Okay. Um, so let, let me, let me hold I up. Have right, a, let me, let me hold up right there. So. Mm-hmm. Somebody, well, of course, it's like I said, you know, it, it's like I said, the mm-hmm. company, the, the, the company going to know whether you have any type of yep. social media anyway. 
but oh yes. Present, 